What is going on you guys? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today we are going to review the DeskJet 2755 by HP, which in my opinion is the best budget printer and scanner that you can buy on Amazon. Has all the features you need, none of the stuff you don't that's going to hype the price up, and it is the printer that I personally purchased for myself. Let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, for once we're actually not doing our unboxing over here at the Stormtrooper desktop. We're going to be over here where the printer is going to be lying on this little uh, desk over here. I've already taken the liberty of slicing into this to save time. So you have your, your uh, quick start guide right here. Basically it tells you, hey, take the printer out of the box. Scan this QR code to get the app for uh, Apple or Android. And basically you can print documents from a tablet, smartphone, and of course your PC via Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi network. Now, I've had HP printers in the past, so I already have the application installed on my phone and on the computer, so that's one less step I have to do. You come with, it comes with a, uh, no, you don't come. <laughs> it comes with a power cable here, just a, your typical, typical power cable you see with damn near anything. Also, it comes with some ink cartridges. I don't think these are extras. It'd be cool if it had some pre-installed and then also a couple extras. I don't think they're that generous because ink is actually really expensive, but you have a color and a black pack in there. Now some higher end printers actually have the color broken into three separate cartridges, um, but this, this is integrated into one, which I like. It makes changing it a lot easier and less messy and all that other good stuff. You have your information for your ink cartridges, probably also trying to get you to opt into their instant ink program. That's what this entire thing is for here. Two month trial, basically what Instant Ink is, it's a subscription service so you never run out of ink basically every couple months depending on your usage. HP will send you a couple cartridges of ink to keep you wet at all times, if you know what I mean. Get rid of that shit. All right, so cosmetically, I think this printer, if it looks like what it did on Amazon, will go absolutely perfectly with my setup. Because, you know, I got the Stormtrooper desktop over there and I am moving, like I mentioned, so if some of you guys have been around the channel for a while, you probably heard me say this in some recent videos, I am moving in the very near future and that, basically that office slash man cave room is going to be almost completely stainless steel and white, uh, kind of like a matte white, uh, walls gray, uh, it's going to be fucking insane. So. This will go perfectly with that because right now it's just sitting on this kind of, uh, you know, espresso dark wood. But <clears throat> once I move into my new Cribola, it's going to be uh, a white pedestal for it. It's not even going to be like a table. It's going to be on like a floating pedestal for the printer. And I think this is going to look really good. Hi UFC, baby. All right, so I can't use a knife to cut in here, but I'm going to use these two deadly weapons that the Lord blessed me with. Oh yeah, get a finger in there, maybe two, I don't know, depending on how she feels. Let's see here. I'm just peeling her out of her, peeling her out of her wrappings, boys. That's what I like to do. So how are you guys doing? How are you dealing with the COVID and everything? I want to hear in the comments section below how, how your experience has been with the old uh, pandemic. You guys still working? You still got money for games? Your wife left you? Anything like that crazy going on? All right, life is easier with infant ink. Again, trying to get you to opt into their service, um, yeah, they can, they can fuck off with that. It's honestly, in my opinion, cheaper just to buy, uh, what the fuck, to buy ink from like Amazon or Walmart or something like that as you need it. I don't really go through ink that much. If you do go through ink a lot, you work from home and you print a lot of documents, might be a good bet for you to sign up for their instant ink. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't even have an affiliate link. I wish I did. They probably have a referral program. I should look into that. All right, so this printer is actually pretty compact considering it is also a scanner and it does have quite a few features. It doesn't have a color touch screen like my last one did. Uh, actually, was it touch? Yes, it was. I had a color touch screen on my last one. This just has this tiny little black and white LCD screen um, that you have to navigate with the up and down arrows, but I'm sure it'll be just fine considering most of the controls can be done from your phone or from the application on the PC. Also, if you notice this here, this isn't self-inflicted, guys. No need to worry. I have a German Shepherd puppy. She jumps up on me every day when I get home from work, and she got me pretty fucking good today. All right, so let's go ahead and peel these off. Got some 
cardboard in there. Some of that, some of that. So you have it. Hopefully you guys can see this. Here, get a little bit closer to Daddy so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so in there you have your, your maintenance port where you can change your uh, cartridges and clean them out if they get dirty and whatnot, closing that back up. You have your paper tray down here. All right, got a nice little condom on the screen for, uh, for that, for scanning. All right, so in order to complete setup, I just plugged it into power. I'm going to power on some lights illuminate here. And I'm gonna whip out the old iPhone. I'm gonna scan that QR code right there. All right, that's the application right there. It is HP Smart. I just had to enter my password three times, my Apple Apple um, ID three times to get this to install. That is part of the reason I will be switching back to Android in the very near future. Not to mention, I just like the phones better and the interface and they're more customizable without having to jailbreak and risk breaking your device and blah, 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 blah. You know, iPhone problems. Anyway, moving on. That's a... That's a story for another video, boys. That's a tale as old as time, as deep as the Xbox and PS4 rivalry. I'm sure there's gonna be fanboys on both sides telling me I've got nuts the size of raisins because I like one or the other. People can have different opinions and like different things. I think once you become an adult and you understand that, that people can like different things and they don't have to agree, agree on everything. All right, so the application asked me if I want to use Bluetooth. It uh, detected my printer. It's a 2700 series. Uh, use my location, sure, while using the app. Enter my Wi-Fi password, mm, look away boys. Press the flashing information button on your printer. All right, we're all set up, connected to my network. Damn, that's good internet. All right, it's now detected and added the printer. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want HP? But no, I don't, but I'll continue through this. All right, now the phone app is gonna walk you through the setup. First of all, you gotta load some paper, shows you exactly how to pop up the tray. It's not too tricky, you just pull up like that. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think it looks a little bit sleeker with that fucking thing down or whatever. So if I'm not printing actively, I'll probably leave that down with no paper in it. The last printer I had had a bottom loading tray down here that was kind of hidden down there. So I thought that was a little bit sleeker. Anyway, you gotta load some paper. It's gonna do an initial uh, print and scan. Uh, unfortunately, all I have is a couple sheets of printer paper. I just ordered a ream of 500 sheets. So that'll be here uh, momentarily. But in the meantime, I am stuck with this. That would explain it. So I guess this tab folds up a little bit as you get too full of paper. Uh, holds them in there nice and good. All right, good. So we got a sheet of paper loaded in there. Open the tray extender. Ah, fancy. So you just fold out and fold that out so your papers don't go spilling all over the place. Now there is a guide in here, which is a little blue um, lever that basically lines up for different sizes of paper. Obviously this is standard 11 by 85 standard letterhead. So we'll just go ahead and continue. Okay, we're gonna install the ink. So you're gonna fold down this next tray here. Cool. So <clears throat> when you open this tray up, these two containers here for the ink will slide out and reveal themselves, allowing you to insert the ink, which we'll do now. All right, so once you remove the cartridges from their packages, you need to remove this protective tape on both of them, like that, and that. And then you can go ahead and install your cartridges. Obviously, you wanna make sure that uh, colors and color, blacks and black, I think they are a different shape. Actually, I think these ones might be the same size and shape. So you just need to go off this little diagram in here. It shows you color on the left, black on the right, and they are gonna go in like, that and you'll hear a nice satisfying click when you get in there properly like that now don't be afraid to just shove it in there you know i mean you want to be gentle at first to where you make sure you're lined up and then just go ahead and ram it home all right we should be hot to trot now oh whoa, whoa. There we go, she didn't like that. Cool, it's communicated with the app. Ink is installed, well you're goddamn right it is. No, I don't wanna zoom, I wanna continue, you fuck. Ah, oh, jeez, boys, iPhone problems. This wouldn't happen in an Android. All right, so it's now asking me if I wanna sign up for Instant Ink, that's the third or fourth time that it's kind of implied to do that. No, I'm gonna get ink at regular price because I'm a buster. Reminder, are you sure you don't wanna do it? Yes, 
I'm sure. Don't remind me. All right, so now it's asking me if I want to send the link to install the HP app on any other devices, tablets, laptops, etc. The answer to that right now would be no. I'm just going to be doing it from my phone usually, and then of course from the Stormtrooper PC, which already has the HP app on it. So we're going to go ahead and skip this step. Are you sure? Yes. Setup complete. Let's fuck. I mean, print. Print the test page on my expensive ass photo paper because I don't have fucking... I mean, honestly, I don't use photo paper anyway. I've had photo paper for absolutely ever, and I never used it, hence why it's the only paper I had laying around here. I usually just use standard 8x5x11 cardstock paper or hydro dipping film, which is right here for my custom controller builds. Pictures on screen here. Yes, I do build custom control. Oh, what the hell? I do have some regular paper. Now that's all. Never mind. All right, so setup's complete according to the phone app. Got this bad boy here, looks real sharp, real crisp. Um, really good color, obviously brand new ink cartridges in there and this is photo paper, so it's gonna be really glossy and vibrant, but um, looks really good. Everything dried immediately, there's no run or anything like that, no um, you know, oversaturated areas or anything like that. So the print quality looks pretty good for my initial impression. Um, granted, this is photo paper, however, if it looks good on photo paper, it's more than likely gonna look good on some cardstock. I will be doing an update when I get my ream of paper. Uh, here's some of the things you can do from the application. You can do smart tasks where you can basically have uh, a project going on where you can print from your phone and then continue printing additional documents from your PC and stuff like that. Camera scan uh, where you can scan a picture and then have it printed out. Uh, you can print photos out obviously, uh, blah, 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 documents. You know, just your standard fanfare there. It's telling me right now I'm empty on paper. Um, however, you know, I'm full on, on juice, on ink. So all in all, pretty sweet. I'm going to hop over to my PC real quick and show you the HP application on there. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap it, tap it and call it a day. Alrighty guys, over here at the PC, this is the HP scanner app. So you can scan from here. I've done it several times with my other printer. I'm sure it's going to be the identical process here. You click scan, uh, and then, you know, Click scan down here and you're able to save your documents as PDF or JPEG, which is really cool. Uh, you can also diagnose your printer if it's having some issues. It'll tell you, hey, your uh, ink cartridges need to be cleaned off. I'm going to make a separate video on how to do that because that's actually a common issue that a lot of people don't know. Uh, me working in an office field, I have, you know, stood over the shoulder of an IT guy while he works on our $5,000 printer and seen how they clean the uh, ink cartridges and whatnot. And it actually makes a lot of sense and it works on commercial grade, uh, not commercial grade, uh, residential grade, you know, just regular home printers as well. Uh, so you can get ink here with that instant ink that they keep trying to sell you on, print your documents, whatever. Uh, now settings here, down here at the bottom, app settings. I really wish that they had a uh, dark theme. Like who the hell only has a white theme now? It's just scorching my corneas here. I prefer dark theme for anything that offers it. Um, you can set up your tiles though, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna move these around, um, to things that you don't use. Like for example, I'm not gonna be using instant ink, so I'm just gonna turn that off. Yeah, play and learn coloring pages. I'm not four years old, so I'm gonna turn that off. Mobile fax is off by default because I don't know who's sending a facsimile nowadays, but it's 2020. Uh, help and support, turn that off. I don't need no help. Print photos, I don't really do that either. And then printer settings, we'll leave that on. So now it's gonna be much cleaner. As you see, nice little clean interface here. Uh, if you have multiple printers installed, like it still has my old 4520 on there. Um, I've tried to forget this printer like seven times and for some reason it's it still wants to remember it, you know? It's like, get over it, it left Jesus, it's gone. Forget printer, forget printer, forget printer. Then it'll do the little spinny wheel and then it'll be back again. But anyway, that's the app, guys. It's HP Smart. Same exact thing as it was called on the phone. Very easy to get through. And um, to set it up, it was kind of a finicky process because my computer's only Ethernet. My motherboard does not have a uh, Wi-Fi adapter built in, nor does it have Bluetooth. So it's literally just, you know, for Ethernet. It's a gaming motherboard. So they, can sit, they figure you're going to be hooked up to an Ethernet cable, which obviously I am. But... Um, they want you, they really make it so hard because you can't connect to your wireless network because, well, you can't. Um, but I was able to click through it, honestly, if you just keep saying, you know, connect, 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 um, and then kind of trick it into thinking you're connected to wireless, I guess. It wasn't that hard. I just clicked through it and I got it figured out. Um, probably should have recorded that process for you guys, but I'm an idiot. 
All right, um, I think that's gonna do it, guys. Hopefully this was informative, beneficial for you guys if you're in the market for a new printer. Uh, the quality's really good on this one. The price is very good. Reliability, it's an HP, uh, and they've been around for a long time. And their customer service is really good too. I had an issue with one of their laptops recently, um, and they you know, paid for me to ship it out in a padded box, got it back to me in time. Um, so I can speak for their customer support as far as a laptop's concerned. So I'm sure a printer, probably same thing. And, you know, I've never had any issues with any of my HP printers. I've had some other printer brands in the, in the past. Um, like, Z, what is it? Z Xerox had some issues with them. But uh, honestly, and I, I like the, the cosmetic design of it, the white and the silver, it's going to go great with my theme. And as long as the thing can scan and print reliably for my phone or computer, that's all I need, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.